1948, Roebuck Staples, better known to the world as Pops, decided to form his own gospel group. When it came to recruiting talent, he only needed to look as far as his own children. Cleotha, Purvis, Yvonne, and his youngest at the time, Mavis. And so Mavis Staples became a professional singer at the age of eight. Her work has been recognized with numerous awards, from the Woody Guthrie Prize, to Grammys, to a Kennedy Center honor. But Mavis Staples still has work to do. Her mission to inspire through music continues today. We need a change, Mavis says. And every chance I get, I'm going to sing songs of change. I'm just so grateful that the Lord gave me a voice. You know, I don't know music. I don't know anything about music. I, I've never had any music lessons. And after my father passed, I, I still don't know what key I sing in. You know, but but I love it. It's, it's my life. And and God just gifted me with my voice. You know, I, I just can't thank him enough. Today I had flowers in my in my room from Robert Plant and Chris Stapleton. And I'm telling you, I'm just special. I'm gonna start living it. I'm gonna start throwing my hair back, get me some more hair before I can fling it, you know? Not nah, I don't want that. If you're ready, well now. If you're ready now, yeah. and go with me well no hatred come go with me will be tolerated come go with me peace and love yes come go with me flow between the razor come go with me love is the only transportation to where there's total love Communication, if you march for freedom's highway, march each and every day, march for freedom's highway. When I say my life matters, you can say yours does too. But I bet you never had to remind anyone To look at it from your point of view Got a change around here Can't go on this way Things got to change around here Say it loud, say it clear Things got to change around here I, the first time I ever saw her play live was was at the Newport Folk Festival, and um, and it was amazing because it's a sea of people, and at that point she was you know in her late seventies or something, and she was she was commanding the audience in a way that that obviously that's the job that's what you do, but but with her there was this there was this um, other level this 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 joyfulness there was this it was this kind of inviting people to 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 experience her joy if if that makes sense um and it's infectious and i and i know that a lot of people could probably describe a lot of shows that way but for her it's it's a singular thing she is a part of kind of every musical chapter of of growth for myself um which so so to be able to share a stage with her is just something that i never thought would be a, an opportunity for me, so I'm, I'm, I'm obviously deeply grateful.
Like you're in a family when you're around Mavis. You just do. The whole family vibe of the Staples singers from the beginning, she's taken that and made it, extended it to her entire audience and to everyone around her on her team. It just feels like a family's coming through the door when you see them. <laughs> she's just a joyful light being. And I think we need a lot more of those on the planet. And she says that her job, as long as she's here, is to keep doing that. Keep being joyful, keep being bright and lifting people up. And I really think that she does that every time she hits the stage, but anytime she enters a room. So the world's better with Mavis in it. <laughs> you know, when we won our rock and roll, when we were inducted, my father was sick. And, and we were all over to his house. And my, my uh, brother came in, he said, just heard on the radio, the Staples Singer's gonna be inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We jumped high, and <laughs> Pops, he was so sick. He, we, we, we laughed about it from afterwards. He said, he said, Per, get my tuxedo, put it in the cleaners. I'm going to that. <laughs> I feel good. Let me take you there, I'll take you there. Just let me take 
feeling mighty fine Sure enough I do, I feel all right, y'all Yes yeah. I do, I'm feeling pretty good now Sure enough I do, I'm feeling all right Now you see We've been taking y'all there for over 40 years. Yeah. <laughs> But what we want you to do, we want all of these beautiful smiling faces here tonight at Rock and Roll Hall of Fame 1999. We want y'all, want y'all to take the stable chiller now. Yeah. Oh, Plus Pops. Yeah, I ain't gonna leave you, Pop. <laughs> I tell you, Pops will leave us all. You gotta watch Pops. He'll be gone before any of us. Now, before we get into it, everybody just... Yeah. Let it loose, right. let it loose, let it loose, let it loose. Just lose yourself, just lose yourself, just let yourself loose, let yourself loose, let yourself go, let yourself, yeah! Is everybody ready? Here we go. Take us there. I'll take you there. Come on now, now, y'all. Take us there. I'll take you there. A little bit louder. But you know, if you if you look at Pop Staples and his his story with bringing up Mavis and um, and creating this 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 family band, it's really a vehicle of survival and a vehicle of deep you know deep belief and expression in in, in their rightful place in the world. It's crazy enough that I'm going to be standing next to say you know Mavis and singing. But she is so warm and she is so, you know, she is good for what ails you, you know, whatever it is. All trepidation aside, you know, it's, it's, it's a great honor to get to play with her, get to sing with her. Yeah. I pulled in Nazareth Feeling about half that day Just needed to find a place Where I could lay my head Hey, mister, can you tell me Where a girl might find a bed? He just grinned, shook my hand No was all he said Take a load off Annie Take a load for free Take a load off Annie You put the load right on me Put the load on me Go 
come back to honor me. I said, Lord, you know, you know, well, I won't say on your tape how old I am, but you know how old I am. <laughs> and, and for this to be happening to me at this time in my life, I just can't, I'm just happy. I'm just so, I'm just overwhelmed. I'm, I'm just so honored. And, and excited that they would be doing this for me, you know. Uh, but I'm grateful. I'm very grateful. <laughs> 